Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be demonstrating how to use my fixture for retapping head bolt holes from 10 millimeters to 11 millimeters. These two bolts here, the one on the left side is a stock M50 head bolt. The one on the right side is an ARP stud for an S54. The S54 uses 11 millimeter head bolts from the factory. Now these studs are close enough in length that they fit through the stock holes in the cylinder head in an M50, S50, S52, and the nuts fit with no modifications. They clear the cam towers, everything is a bolt in. So now let's move on to how to retap. So to retap, what we do is we remount part of the old thread and then we run a new 11 millimeter tap down the partial thread left by the remake. To do that we use this fixture. The fixture has four holes in it with drill bushings and they're marked drill, tap, and two for hold. So to start out with we're going to be tapping this hole here. So I'm going to take the larger of the two reamers in the kit which is a 15 16th or I'm sorry 15 30 seconds. We don't need to fixture or anything for this. And we just need to enlarge this counter bore a little bit so that the 11 millimeter cap will run down into the 10 millimeter threads. So now put the fixture on using the hole marked drill. And bolt everything down using the hold down bolts. forgot. This stud is used to align the, the uh, reamer when we go to drill out the old threads. These hold down bolts don't need to be ridiculously tight, they just need to be snug just a little bit. If everything is aligned, this dowel should thread out with your fingers. If it doesn't, try loosening the bolts and tightening them back up again. It's also cut for a flathead screwdriver, but you shouldn't need it. Now we're ready to switch to the smaller re reamer in the kit, which is a 3 8 reamer, which happens to be the right size for starting the 11 millimeter tap. And we just run it to the bottom of the hole. Just turn it slowly, it'll turn right in. It doesn't take a lot of effort because you're not removing very much material. We can take our fixture off. Turn it around backwards so that now we're using the hole marked tap. And now we want to tap down the hole. So there's two taps included with the kit. The one on the left here is a starting tap, the one on the right is a bottoming tap. Now the difference is the chamfer on the bottom. The starting tap has a larger chamfer so it's easy to start down the hole. The bottoming tap has a shorter chamfer so it will cut deeper down the hole. So start with the starting tap. Put the tap down with oil. Right down the hole it goes. And now Watch as I start this. I'm not even going to use any downward pressure. Just the weight of the tap should be enough to start it down the hole. And you just slowly turn it in. It's not very hard to turn because we're not tapping the entire hole. We're tapping down an already partially threaded hole. So just work the tap slowly. If anything feels like it's jammed, anything doesn't feel right, just stop and back it up and try again. It'll take more and more effort as you start to get to the bottom of the hole. And I can feel I'm almost there, so I'm going to just kind of slow down and just feel for it. And there I am. Now, don't try to turn the tap any harder than what you can just with, with about four fingers. Otherwise, you might 
break the tap off. I can just back this out. And now we're done with this fixture. switch to the bottoming tap. Another drop of oil. And right back down. And now as you get towards the bottom, the bottoming tap will start to cut where the starting tap didn't. So again, just go slow and feel for the bottom of the hole. There it is. I'm just going to back it out. I'm going to run this up and down one more time just to make sure everything is nice and smooth. Now you can see it goes in really smoothly. And there's the bottom again. Now one last machining step. There's a 45 degree chamfer tool included in the kit. When we recut the counter bore on the top of the hole, we made a nice sharp edge there, which gets caught on everything. It can cut you. So you just take that chamfer bit and just spin it in there just for a second or so and break that sharp edge. Now we're done with all the machining on this hole. So I'm just going to tip this up. this hole out. Now we take the stud other way. It is a different thread on the top than the bottom. We'll just turn it in. If it's a little tight then you might want to just run the tap down a couple more times. Now you thread it till it hits the bottom and you turn it out a half a turn. That's how you want to install ARP studs. You don't ever want it to be bottomed against the bottom of the hole. And you know you've got it right if the top of the stud moves just about 20 thousandths of an inch, maybe 40 thousandths of an inch at the most. The stud should have just a little bit of play on it so that it can self-align into the threads. This one feels perfect. So now you just need to repeat for the rest of the rest of the holes and we're done.